In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four options infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click the first option comes, it looks kind of a perspective here which is coming out from this particular shape. I have added the icon, the option number, the title and the detail text along with the shadow effect here. Now when I click, it will come with a different color combination. So this is the option 2, option 3 and option 4. I have created one more slide with some different color combinations. So this is how it looks. This is option number 1, option 2, 3 and 4. So depending on the requirement, you can increase or decrease or change the color of these options. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the slide background to any gradient color background. In this case, I have used this uh, light orange and some tan color. So depending on the requirement, you can just change these uh, gradient colors. Then go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the shape which is called the trapezoid. Draw a small trapezoid, which looks something like this. Shape outline, make it no outline. And shape fill, you can give any different color here. So I'm going to more fill color and I can use some different color here, maybe a kind of a, a light pink color. All right, and then go to the rotate. You can see here when I make it rotate right 90 degrees, it is rotating like this. So I would like to do the other way around, which is rotate left 90 degrees. Okay, so once this is done, you keep it again. If you want to give more perspective, you can just make it down, drag it, you know, can inside or outside. So I would like to give uh, maybe this much. Okay, the perspective. And then I'm going to duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D and I'm going to give a darker color of this one. So go to the more fill colors. So here it is more darker as in this one. All right, you can see here then rotate. I'm going to make it flip horizontal and put it exactly like this. All right, then I'm going to duplicate one more time and I'm going to give a different color or the color which I've used before, the same color here. And then again, I'm going to make it flip horizontal. Again, align to this, increase the size. The moment you increase the size, the alignment will go again using the small orange point. You can see here, you have to just align it properly. Okay, so it looks something like this. So again, if you are not happy with the color, you can just go and change any color. For example, let me just go here. I would like to give a kind of a light yellow. You can see here. And then here I'm going to give more dark colors. Okay. And here I'm going to give the same light color here. So it looks something like this. Okay. Depending on the requirement. Again, if you want to increase the size, the moment you increase, as I said, this will also change sometimes. Okay. So you have to just make sure that you have to align it properly. Okay. And connect to the this end so once this is done i can just add one shadow effect so i can select this one press ctrl d to duplicate i'm going to give a black color and transparency maybe i'm going to give 80 percent transparency all right and then move it something like this increase the size a little bit so it should be bigger than the this one and then send this to back so you can see here the shadow effect if you want let me just zoom in you can just make it inside so it gives a kind of shadow effect like this all right so you can see here this is my very first uh, object i have designed so now it's time to give some uh, text and icons to it so first of all adding the text go to insert text box i'm going to make it zero one center align any font color if you want white you can give white make it bold increase the size maybe 40 50 depending on the requirement maybe further i'm going to make it 66 and i'm going to put it here all right and then i'm going to insert one icon go to insert icons insert any icon of your choice so i'm going to choose this one click insert and this color also i'm going to make this as white and sometimes what happens here is we have to give a perspective for this one. To do that one, you have to go to the effects, 
scroll down go to 3d rotation resets you can see i can select this one which is perspective left so it gives kind of a perspective towards left again if you want more perspective you can use this arrow buttons x rotation okay so this looks okay for me and then one more thing you can do is you can add a kind of uh, effect which is coming out from this screen okay so for that go to shapes select the oval shape draw a small oval shape shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to make this as black and let me just give 60 percent transparency here and go to the effects under the soft edges increase the size okay so soft edges let me just zoom in and i'm going to put it here like this and then i need to cover this with the help of a rectangle so go to insert shapes select the rectangle always the rectangle should be bigger than the shadow shape outline no outline the the challenge here is because we have used the gradient fill i have to fill this with the same color what is available here okay otherwise if i do something different colors it look very awkward okay so for that what i'm going to do is i can select this shape go to the fill and select the gradient fill now gradient fill whatever the color which is here i have to use the color same color here okay so the very first color i'm going to select eyedropper and this color okay so this is matching can you can see here then for the second one i'm going to use the color which is in the center and the third stop which is at the bottom which is here so it is almost it is blending with the uh, background you can see here this is the uh, challenge every time whenever you copy it will mismatch here okay so re keep remember that one so go to insert shape and the text here i'm going to add the title here again if you want to keep a black you can keep it black make it bold if you want and go to insert text box equals lorem within bracket one and this much large text i don't need so i'm going to delete this text make it shorter reduce the font size and put it here all right so now all those objects now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select okay or you can press ctrl a also to select all the objects and press ctrl g or right mouse click group you can just group like this also or the shortcut key is ctrl g okay it's grouped here you can see here all right so now it's easy for me to replicate this option so i'm going to press ctrl d to duplicate this one and here i'm going to put this one here so you can see here again this is not blending with this one so what are the step which i've mentioned you have to follow the same steps here okay so this is my option two now i'm going to give a different color for this so i'm going to select only this go to the shape format maybe i can just give a color of some you can see here this is which is light uh, teal or a purple color sorry not purple green color and click ok and here i'm going to give somewhat darker color maybe this one always this should look like kind of a shadow so i think this color is mismatching so maybe i have to just go with a more darker this side yeah and then i'm going to give the same color which i've used here all right so you can see here now i'm going to select this one and if you want you can just keep it the front or you can just if you want you can send this to back so let it be front that it that looks good so now i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and you can see here again this is it's not matching remember that again send this to back again i'm going to give some different color maybe i can just give a kind of a purple or the pink color maybe i'm going to select this color and here i'm going to select more darker color all right you can see here and then i'm going to choose the same color which i've used here so this is my option number three all right title and then to change the icons is very simple do not delete and add another one so what you need to do is you need to just select the icons go to the graphic format graphic change graphics from icons you have to just change select the new icon here so i'm just going to choose a different icon maybe this one and click insert so you can see here with all the properties this will be changed okay so you don't need to delete and add it again 
so the same thing i'm going to replicate here and maybe i'm going to use this africa uh, map and click insert and done so again depending on the requirement if you want to add more then you have to reduce the size so coming back to this one you can see here this one how i'm going to solve this issue is i'm going to select the color from here okay so first color i'm going to select with the use of eyedropper click here then the second color i'm going to use the eyedropper which is here and then the third one which is sorry use the eyedropper which is here so you can see here it's blending all right so same thing you have to follow this one again if you feel that the fourth one it cannot accommodate what you need to do is you have to select all the objects press ctrl g to group it hold the shift key reduce the size all right so you can see here this way you can reduce the size and ungroup it by pressing ctrl shift g and then add one more control d and i'm just going to add one more here and just change the color the way i told you simple as that one so this will be four and let me just change the color for you so again go here i'm going to choose some different color combinations maybe a blue some light blue here comes the dark blue this one click ok and sorry the same color so let me just make it somewhat darker yes and then here the same light blue color so you can see here i have to send this to back so i've got one two three four and again if you want to do some basic animation effects you can select this one go to the animations enable the animation pane and i can just choose add animation maybe a wipe animation i can just choose maybe from here wipe animation it should start from left so it comes like this okay so again with the help of the animation painter double click and copy to each animation the, the options here and escape so now if i play it looks something like this option number one option number two option number three and option number four so again whichever animation you want you can just change the animation